Hi, welcome to the Bradlings DIY YouTube channel. I'm Lindsay with Custom Love Gifts on location today at Dara's Garden. Today we're going to show you all the neat finishes that you can add to DIY candlesticks. So let's get started. The items you're going to need for this project depend on the finishes that you've decided to add to your candlesticks. The first thing you're going to need, of course, are some DIY candlesticks that you can buy online at customlovegifts.com. These candlesticks start with raw unfinished wood and you can do all kinds of cool finishes to make them look metallic, crackled, or hammered metal. The two that we have here on the left is a gold metallic and a silver metallic finish. We did this super easy with either Crowlin or Rust-Oleum metallic finish spray paint and just an even spray on the candlesticks. You're first going to want to make sure that your candlesticks are clean and smooth before you apply your spray paint. The second finish we did, which is one of my personal favorites, is a hammered metal finish. This is just Rust-Oleum hammer, hammered metal spray paint, spray painted onto the raw wood candlestick. It's super easy and when you use spray paint you often don't even have to prime your candlesticks. The last finish we're going to do together which is a crackle paint finish which is super popular with weddings right now. What you're going to need to start with these of course is your DIY candlestick. For the purpose of this video, we went ahead and did a hammered metal finish on this candlestick and we're going to use white paint that's water-based to put over top of it with a crackle paint finish in between. I'll show you how to do it step by step. But keep in mind, whatever you put on the bottom layer is going to show through the cracks of your candlesticks. So we chose this dark finish so you could really see the crackle finish against the white paint. To get started, you're going to want to make sure that all the paint that you put on here is smoothed out. If it's not, get a little sandpaper, rub any rough edges, and spray paint it again. Then you're going to want to take your crackle finish. We're using Valspar Crackle Glaze today. Just get some of it on your paintbrush and do a nice even coat around the candlestick. The thicker the coat of the crackle glaze, the bigger the cracks are going to be. If you do a really thin coat, you're going to get really fine cracks when your crackle is finished drying. Once you get a nice even coat on this candlestick, we have one that we already started right here. You're actually going to want to step back for about an hour or maybe a couple hours even and let it dry. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we'll be right back to show you how to finish. Alright, now that we've had plenty of time for our crackle glaze to dry, we're going to take some water-based paint, I chose off-white for this project, and just do a thin coat over top of the crackle glaze. Now the way that this works is the paint is actually going to crackle on its own with the crackle glaze. So you just want to make sure that you've got a nice even coat on here and then you're actually going to let it sit for a couple hours and let it dry. Now this is a commitment. So once you put your paint on this candlestick, there's no going back over it because what that's going to do is release the paint from the crackle glaze and you're instead of having a nice little crackled finish, you're just going to have some places that totally are not painted at all. It's probably not the look that you're going for. So here you can see two different candlesticks that are crackled a little bit different. We used a thicker crackle glaze on this candlestick. This candlestick we did use a thinner glaze and you can see that there's more of a fine crackle finish on there. Let's just go over really quickly the three rules of using a crackle finish. First you want to start with a clean smooth surface and use an oil based primer or some spray paint and it's really good to use some contrasting colors. Second, you want to apply your crackle glaze and just commit to either a thin glaze or a thick glaze and let it set for at least an hour. Third, you want to use water-based flat paint for your final coat and it is a commitment. So once you put paint on your candlestick, you cannot go back over it. So make sure you do it right the first time or you'll have to do it over. 
Thanks for watching the Bradlink DIY YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed all the different ways that you can finish your DIY candlesticks. Thanks to our vendors for making this possible, including Dara's Garden for letting us shoot on site today, Melissa Tim Floral Designs for these beautiful flowers, and Euphoria Boutique for this wonderful dress. I'm Lindsay with Custom Love Gifts, and we'll see you next time.